Okay, so uh, we kind of showed you the, um, the how, how the SmartThing system acts in terms of turning lights on and off and things like that, and cameras and things like that. Now I'm going to show you uh, the brains behind all of it. Um, so I've got my uh, I've got my iPad here, um, and it's got the SmartThings app from Samsung loaded on it. Um, so essentially, what I'm going to do is, uh, or what you're seeing here is you're seeing all of the items that I have in my house. So you can see things like lights, you can th see things like speakers, um, you can see the contact sensors. So just to show you a couple things here, um, remember the uh, the living room lights that I was showing you, there's three lamps in there, there are the three lamps right here. And so I can click any of these things and turn them off or turn them on which is a funny little gag you can play on your kids when they're in there playing or they need to go to bed or something, just turn the lights out on them uh, from anywhere. Even like, that's the other great thing is you can use this app anywhere. As long as you have an internet connection, because you're accessing Samsung's services in the cloud, um, as long as you have an internet connection, you can command these things in your house uh, from anywhere. Uh, so that makes it super important. One thing I want to note, um, and I plan on doing a video on just overall security hygiene when it comes to online services, uh, you definitely want to turn on two-factor authentication or multi-factor authentication. And what that means is essentially on your Samsung account that you link to your smart things, you want to make sure that you turn on um, not just username and password, but also to, to text your phone or um, push a push notification to your phone, etc. You want to make sure you set that up because uh, once you start linking things into the system, um, and if you have a weak password, uh, uh, bad people, malicious people, whatnot, hackers, if you want to call it that, um, will be able to access your system. And if you have cameras in your house and things like that, uh, that could be potentially a major privacy problem. So, um, oh, look, Trump will prohibit transaction with ByteDance. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, anyway, sorry about that. Um, yeah, that's pretty funny. I should probably... I, I'm a... Uh, I'm a... Um, a Samsung Android user, so I don't use uh, a lot of uh, iOS devices. Uh, so um, I'm a bit of a noob when it comes to uh, iOS, as, as my kids call it, noob. Um, they've also called me a sweat. I don't know what that means. If you know what that means, drop in the comments and help me with some of this terminology. But anyway, those are the three uh, living room lights there. There's my kitchen, okay? So remember I had the kitchen pantry door? That's the contact sensor. And then you've got the lights there and then the two motion detectors. So uh, you got the pantry light, the kitchen light. And I've basically organized these all in rooms. Um, uh, and there's my front lights. So I have lantern lights. I have other uh, porch lights and things like that. And you'll also see too, I have these motion sensors too. Essentially, can, they're multi-sensor. So they can do motion, but they can also do temperature. And um, as you can see in some of my videos, I, I, I'm like burning up all the time. Number one, I'm in Texas, it's 100 degrees today. Uh, but two, when I talk and I get animated and things like that, I, I tend to kind of get a little, a little warm. Uh, the reason I bring that up is because I like to have these uh, sensors. Uh, actually, I, I don't know if you can see it, but um, up here, and if you can't see it, I'll, I'll maybe take a still shot or something and superimpose it, but um, there's a temperature sensor in here. And what's really neat about that is um, not only can I do automation around this, um, but I can also track temperatures in rooms that I have those in. So um, when the AC people come out and they say, you're crazy, it's not hot in here, I can say, oh, actually it's 75 degrees and the thermostat right behind me says it should be 72. There's something wrong here. So, okay, cool. Uh, so with that being said, um, what you do is you associate, essentially the first step is when you unbox it, and, and maybe I'll do a separate video just for this to show you kind of how it works. Um, you unbox the sensor, uh, you plug it in, and then within the time that you plug it in or you pull the battery tab out to activate it, you go into the SmartThings app and you basically say, hey, I want to add something, I want to add a device, and then you indicate what device it is. So you can see down here, like you've got a, a generic Z-Wave device. Uh, so that's what we were talking about before. I use Z-Wave, so that's one option. But most of the time, you can find the manufacturer in here. Okay, let's talk about automation real quick. So remember how I had my lights turn on and things like that? Um, here's, um, here's some automations that I have set up. So this one's pretty neat. So my front door lock is also Z-Wave enabled. Uh, so the front door 
um, actually has a lock on it. That lock has a wireless module in it that talks to SmartThings, and it can send its status. Uh, so not only can I unlock and lock the door uh, from SmartThings, again, going back to why it's important that you secure that, that account, um, but I can also set an alarm if it is in a certain condition, condition meaning lock or unlocked. So what I have here is actually at 8 p.m. every day, uh, if my door, front door lock is unlocked, send me a push notification. A push notification is a notification that comes to your device and that little pop down where you have to scroll down uh, like that, that Trump one I got a minute ago, uh, that's a notification. So it'll push, send you a push notification and say, hey, uh, you've got your uh, front door unlocked. It's 8 p.m. You need to lock it. So now the cool thing about this is, is that I can say, okay, you know, uh, my front door is unlocked. You see it here? I can just click this. And you can't hear it up here, but um, it actually, it'll, it'll now lock the front door for me. Um, so let's say you've already gotten in bed. You know, it's, it's cold. I wish it was cold right now. It's 100 degrees. But, um, but essentially, yeah, like, and you, you don't want to uh, get out of bed to lock the front door. Uh, you just click the button. I guess I didn't click it before, but you can basically just click it and then it'll lock. Now you do see there is a battery. So anything that's not plugging into a power source, like that lamp one that I showed you, that, that's turning on my lamps, those don't need batteries because they're plugged into the power source. Same with the smart switches. But when it comes to these front door locks and things like that, uh, these will have batteries in them. And the cool thing is, is that it can track the batteries for you. So the motion sensors, the temperature sensors, things like that, those all have batteries that need to be changed, but it will alert you whenever you need to change them. Uh, and each one of those has a little bit different battery requirements. So uh, you will need to be aware and, and have those batteries on hand. No biggie though. Okay. Let me show you one last thing. So, um, you know, one thing that, um, uh, that I don't really like about smart things is that their interface as you can kind of see is a little it's a little limiting okay I'll give you an example um, so you see uh, let's see let me find my office so you see this right here this main office sensor I'm moving around you see it actually just changed to motion detected if I want to see the temperature in my office I have to click it and then I have to see the temperature here okay um, and I can actually do a smart thing alert around this. So I can say, hey, if it's 78 degrees in my office or hotter, send me a push notification. So that's another automation you can do. So I've got a lot of computer equipment and, and things they can hear that are sensitive to heat. Um, I can actually notify myself, which may be a pre-indicator that the air conditioner is uh, is going bad or, or is off or the kids messed it up again or whatever. Most of the time it's broken, right? It's Texas. They break all the time. So the bad thing is, though, is I can't really look at this. I've got a bunch of these, these motion detector sensors all over the house. I can't really see uh, what the temperature is. So there's, a, there's an app out here. Uh, it's called um, Action Tiles, I think. Um, is that right? I hope so. I hope it's called Action Tiles. It's like in here, I've got um, my same... Intel, uh, smart switches and smart sensors and things like that, but it's actually showing me a different view of them. And so what you can see here, you can build these little dashboards and have any of your control um, switches, your smart switches all over them. So uh, as you can see here, each one of those motion detectors I have also has a temperature um, thermo uh, thermostat in them, thermometer, thermostat, whatever that's called, the thing that measures the temperature. Um, so now I can actually look at each room that I have them in um, I can see exactly what the temperature is. Um, so if you look at like the downstairs temperatures here, uh, I've got a pretty even, um, I've got a pretty even distribution of temperature down there. You see it's within one or two degrees except for the office uh, downstairs. And it is true that the office does get uh, pretty cold. It's, a, it's the main room that gets pumped up. But you can see upstairs, I've got some work to do. Um, you can see that in the studio, it's like 69 degrees, and um, that's my wife's photo studio. Um, but you'll see in the other rooms, it's like 74, 76. In here, it's actually saying it's 74 degrees, and I believe it. Uh, it is a little bit warm in here for my taste. Uh, we usually keep it around the 71 to 72 degree range uh, is where we like it, uh, probably because of all the extra insulation I have um, that I shouldn't have, but I do. <laughs> that was a joke. Uh, the other thing is cool is you can do these um, little uh, graphic tiles that pull from like GIFs out on the internet, like um, pictures of the forecast and radar and things like that, and it'll refresh itself 
based on how often you want. But you can kind of see like once you get smart things going in your house, there's a lot of other apps and things that you can integrate to make it even better. So action tiles is one thing that, that I've been, I just started using it actually um, to make this work out a little bit better. What's nice about this is, is that the next time the, um, the next time that the uh, air condition service people come, I can show them the upstairs here and I can help them balance uh, better the rooms in the AC system. So you can see here, I need to take a lot of air out of the studio and then add it into maybe Zach's play, play, uh, the Zach's room, the playroom, and um, yeah, those two rooms, and that'll help balance out all the rooms a little bit better. So these are just ways that you can you can kind of um, you know use this system for yourself. Hopefully, this has been helpful to you. Uh, but again, it, it's, there's really nothing rocket science about it. I'm going to put the links in the comments in terms of like maybe how to get started with just a couple things, but just try it, you know, get a hub, get the smart things hub or whatever hub you want to use. You don't have to use smart things. There's some other ones out there. I'm not familiar with them. I'm most familiar with smart things. Um, but just get a hub and then get like one light switch thing. And if there's a lamp in your house that you're like, man, you know, I wish I had the clapper, you know, I don't know if, if you're, if you know what the clapper, if you're that too young to know what the clapper is, go look it up. It's some good pop culture. But if you say, Hey, I wish I had the clapper. Or I wish I, you know, had this lamp that would just know when I wanted to turn it on. That's an excellent candidate, uh, for home automation. So, you know, give it a shot, see what you can learn. I think the big thing to, to know about all this is that you really can't screw too much up with this, uh, get it connected into the internet. Uh, if you need help, uh, you can always drop in the comments. I'm, I'm, I'm more than happy to try to help you if I can. Um, but otherwise, you know, give it a shot. Let me know if this helped you. Um, and uh, stay safe out there. And hopefully this makes your home a little bit more pleasurable to be in. Have a great one. Talk to you later. Have a great one. Talk to you later.